Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and I wanted to try this mobile game I saw called Crypto Fights Ascension. The developers reached out to me and asked me to give it a look, and I believe you can get this on PC as well. May I know which heritage you herald from? Each has a unique birth trait. Okay. Um, do I want to be dwarf, elf, or human? Uh, let's just go ahead and be a human, sure. Uh, difficulty hard. Ooh, I don't know about that. What about, give me easy. There it is. Dwarves are easy. Their strength is 9, their dexterity is 7, and their intelligence is 7. Dwarves start with 1 damage resistant to mundane damage types. Okay, that sounds great. They also have 2 extra strength. I like it. Let's go. Customize your fighter. Come closer. Let me see what you look like and what kind of a fighter you are. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and say this is fine. And... Oh, can I do, um, let me go back to that one second. Each new fighter has 15 ability points. Allocate them between strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Okay, I'm actually going to go back. Can I change anything? Yeah, you can change, um, like your hair color. Okay, good. And your skin tone. Um, uh, yeah, that's bluish. Sure. And then, uh, armor style. Now uh, we can change, you know, there we go. We've got a blue shirt. Beard style. Okay, there's a lot of customization, actually. Oh, yeah, that looks great. And hairstyle. Um, now you're talking. Looking ready to go. Okay, so let's do these different abilities. I've got strength, dexterity, intelligence. Well, I'm just going to go strength, like, all day long, basically. As high as I can. 14 is as high as I can go. Then we'll go dexterity. Yeah, sure. Not the smartest. But God, we're strong. And name your fighter. Okay. How's that, Dr. Incompetent? Let's go. Okay. Redeem an item. Uh, give me that short sword. I've redeemed it. Or it's redeeming it now, I guess I should say. Let's go to the Woodland Forest and see what's up here. Uh, we're playing against a Boggart. Uh-oh. But we get poor rewards. That's fine. We'll take poor rewards. All right. We're looking for a match. And we got the Boggart. Match found. Okay. Let's see how this game goes. How do we play this? Um, all right. So I have some time to choose. I'll do a strength-based attack. And it's processing my move, and I attack, and I hit it really hard. You can see it, I did six damage to it. Uh, we'll do the strength again. And we got it. Oh, uh, we actually won. Quest complete. That's how you do it. Great. Okay, and we can open this for two gold, which I don't think I have any gold. So let's just return to the world map here. I should level up, though. I do. I'm going to click on myself. And I can level up in the bottom right corner. We get to unlock a skill from the skill tree. That seems good. Tap on the icons to learn more about each skill. Some skills have a level requirement. Others require you to unlock another skill first. Um. 
All right, I'm Dwarven. How about a stun? Attack weapon die is not applied on hit. Target becomes stunned for two turns. Uh, yeah, try to unlock that. A stun sounds great to me. Okay. So we unlocked a stun so that we can, you know, freeze him up. We got a knoll here. I do like fighting knolls. And so you can see on my skills, I have like intelligence, dexterity, strength, and then now I have my stun here. All right, so I won the initiative. I get to go first, and I'll try to stun it. It's not going to do damage, but it'll prevent it from hurting us, I suppose. And we missed horribly. That's embarrassing. And I guess I hit the, the stun. I wanted to do stun again, but it has like a cooldown or something. All right, we hit it for six. That's very good. I got to pay attention. Do I fully heal? Oh, he put up like some kind of... He hit himself. What? A... That's not acceptable. He's hidden, so I don't know if this is going to... I think it automatically probably misses. So maybe I should do some other type of tech, like defend or something. He coated his weapon in poison. All right, um, right, I'll do whatever the dexterity... Oh, I hid. Okay, it's not a dexterity thing, or maybe it is. I don't know. I'm hiding now. Take that, buddy. Interesting. Okay. So at this point, oh, I didn't put anything in. I was like trying to think. Um, looks like I'm doing something though. Oh, turn skip. No, it just went badly for me. Okay, let me try again. Oh God. Let me try to stun the guy. Okay, well, we're going to lose this fight. Um, I skipped my own turn, but the fact that I missed on... Uh, I'm going to see what this does. I don't know what that actually does. I'm focused. Well, that seems a little too slow for this situation. And we've... Uh, We gotta stun the guy. We don't really have much other choice here. I have to be able to stun him and hit him. Ouch. A couple of times without him hitting me back, basically. He becomes hidden indefinitely. Well, I'll hide too. All right, so he's coating his weapon with poison again, which can only mean my demise. Mm, I pushed some button. I don't know what it did, but it hit all my stuff. All right, so I'm hidden. I'm going to hide again. I took some necrotic damage. That doesn't seem ideal. Okay. So that went badly. Let's try it again. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to not stun. <laughs> The ability seems fine, but I just miss with it. And, you know, maybe this fight, well, I'm just rolling badly. Come on, Super Dwarf. All right, so my turn got skipped, which I don't know why. Um, I'll try to hit it again. I can't really hit it because he's hidden.
Okay, he rolled very well. Let's try to get him again. We hit him for a little bit. Oh, God. Okay. I'm having problems connecting. This guy is so nimble. Oh, he hit him. Go. Take him down. All right. We finally won. And uh, we didn't level up this time, but at least, at least we won. Oh, did I have any gold to open that chest with? Let me see. Oh, okay. Maybe I should have opened the other one. I thought for some reason gold was like a currency that I didn't have. I got it. Sweet. All right. Well, we did win. Okay, so we're almost level three. We finished the first two battles. And I'm curious to know, has anyone tried this game before? Have you guys even heard of this game? Does this look like a game that um, you like to play on mobile? Um, you know, it, it's definitely got a great visuals, and there's a lot of D&D &D dice rolling. So this game is in early access, and it's going to be eventually available on the PC, but right now it's only on Android. Now, I'm playing it on the PC using... BlueStacks, which is a Android emulator, and I have played the first two levels just to kind of get a feel for the controls, and I'm going to jump in and show you the game. So I made myself an awesome blue dwarf with a sweet beard, and um, you could see me right here. I am going to be, I got a new weapon, so I'm going to just be using uh, an axe and a sword, like dual wielding see how that goes for me. It might be a big disaster. I've only learned two skills so far, a stun and just my dwarven passive bonus to strength. Um, but there is a nice skill tree in the game, so if you click on any of the skills, for example, it'll open up the skill screen, and you can see that they are split up among uh, the races. So there are the basic like core skills, uh, which is attacking, and this is just like D&D. So you roll a dice 20 to attack, and um, you have to get above their evasion roll. And then uh, if you get a 20, you crit and do double damage, and your damage is based on your weapon. But then you have a focus ability, which helps you with in your intelligence modifier is doubled. So if you're going to be doing, you know, intelligence-based attacks. Now, my dwarf is not the smartest in the shop, so we won't be focusing. My intelligence is my worst stat. And you also have hide, which is like an interesting mechanic in the game where you do you get concealment. So you roll a dice 20, and if you score higher than their intelligence, you can become hidden. And the opponent is going to be making spot checks to try to see you, and then you have advantage. So when you're hidden and you attack, just like in D&D, you get to roll two dice 20, and you use the bigger dice that, uh, to see if you hit or not. Now then I have dwarven as a skill, which means dwarves are more resilient to damage and have twice as much iron in their blood as any other race, so we get damage resistance uh, and plus two strength. That's just kind of a passive racial bonus. And then over here, I picked up this skill, which was stun. So you get to try to, you don't do any damage, but if you hit, you stun them for two turns and they can't act, um, and it's only usable with heavy 
brutal weapons. So I do have this, uh, I'll equip this skill, but, um, you know, it, it's not like the best uh, of all skills. I actually probably want to, uh, let me go back to this. So I kept missing with stun and I don't, you know, I don't know if my main hand or my off hand is strong enough to even be counted as the heavy weapon. So I'm just going to stick with basic attacks because we're really early in the game. And uh, we'll go ahead and go back to the map. We're in the woodland forest for the time being. And let's just do mission three. We're going to be fighting an ogre. Uh, and that's, we have a chance of getting some normal rewards. All my other ones just gave me poor rewards. So this could be good. So we're fighting the ogre here. And uh, we rolled a 20 for initiative, and he rolled a 0, so we definitely win that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and attack right now. A 5 is a pretty bad roll. We did not hit. All right, it's his turn. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to hit him again. He's like charging up uh, and he's inspired. Okay, we do hit him and we did uh, a, a good bit of damage there. We hit with, you know, we attacked with both. And so uh, for now, dual wielding seems like it just does extra damage. Like I, I rolled a die six and did uh, a bonus bit of damage there. Okay, and uh, he hit us really hard, which is terrifying. Okay, we hit him there. He's demoralized, that's good. And it looks like we used our uh, second attack right there, and we hit him again. So, uh, he rolled a 20, unfortunately, critting us. Uh, I think he kills us, actually. Oh no, we crit him. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that was his role. Oh no, he... He didn't die. I thought he was went to zero. He went to three. Okay, well now he kills us. Oof. Oh, he must have had some kind of damage resist. Okay, so we didn't do a good job right there. We did not win. That's sad. Let's try it again. What can I do differently against this guy? I could try to stun him, I suppose. But maybe what I should do is... Uh, he used Battle Cry. That's bad. And I'll just hit him. Alright, well we did a lot of damage that time at the very least. He missed us, thank goodness. Oh no, we missed him. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, dear God. Right, let's see if we can get him. Alright, let's see if we can finish this guy. Uh, he's inspired, which is not what we want to see. Uh, so he uses a 15, and he hit, hit us for 11 there. Um, ouch. So we did hit him a couple of times with our two weapons, um, but then we missed. Maybe... Oh, and he went up on, like, I don't know if he regenerates, but his health just went back up by 6. He rolled two 20s. Yeah, okay. Well, shoot. 
So I think this is going to be a situation where um, I lose, and it's like where we just need to go back and maybe try a different map to see if we can win on an easier map and like level up a little bit or something. All right, we're going to fight. Okay, we rolled really well to hit. Yeah, this guy is much easier. You can see with our extra health, I'm, I'm so close to leveling up. If I just level up a bit, you know, maybe get another piece of equipment, we can win right here. Now, this guy hides. I'm just going to hide myself. Fine. All right, so we're hidden. It's a standoff. I'm going to just try to attack. Whatever. Okay. Hit him. Alright, so we're just going to keep trying to attack, but we can't really attack until we make a spot check, basically, is how this works. Alright, so he missed. We aren't even hiding at all anymore. We are. We keep missing to try to, uh, re like, reveal this guy. Alright, so he hit us. He's getting advantage, but this should at least unconceal him, I pray. And our damage resistance should carry us. Now we missed there, it looks like. Um, Alright, hit him. Okay, let's see if we can hit this guy. Well, I wanted to win, uh, but he apparently can stay concealed indefinitely. And I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I guess I could roll focus or something so I could try to hit. I found him. Will I ever get to attack him? Is the question. Um, we rolled. We tried. We Our turn got skipped. And the null wins. I guess the poison damage got me. So I thought that would be easy. Um, it is not easy. We're going to go back out to the map. And we're going to maybe try to fight somebody who doesn't conceal themselves. Uh, play, like, play this guy. Play somebody that we can actually just hit. Um, and exchange damage with. So the ogre hits us too hard in the face. The knoll seemingly stays concealed forever. Um, and unless we roll to hit, like, I could try to double my intelligence. But you see, like, my intelligence is poor. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we killed that guy on the first turn, basically. Uh, which is amazing. So that was easy peasy, and um, we got enough experience to level up, and we can open this for two gold, and I'm going to click it and use the gold that we started with and just kind of open this up and see what we get. And we got a practice dagger of poor quality. Um, we're not going to equip it. We're just going to continue, but I am going to go to the level up screen. And uh, we get a point... We get an increase to one of our abilities, which is good. 
And so I take strength like all day long. How much level we get, go for it. Or uh, hit points we get. So yeah, look at this. We have 24 hit points now. And it's a question of can we take the ogre with this much health? The ogre doesn't hide. It's more of, you know, just a brute strength versus strength competition. And do we have enough hit points to take his, like, stand in and, and beat him? Well, if we roll a 5, that's not going to do it, unfortunately. Now, we did hit with our second attack. We got a 19. I think. Now, it's also important, like, he better not... Um, oh no, maybe I didn't get... I thought that uh, I hit him with my second roll there. There we go. So we definitely hit. And we hit that time again. There. Okay. So it took a second for it to log our first attack, uh, but it did finally go through... And then... Ow. Um... Okay. So, it's now neck and neck. We're tied up. We did hit on our second attack right there. So when that registers, we'll do some damage. Alright, so he's using power attack. Unfortunately, he hit us um, easily. And now it's like, we need to... Um, he guarantees, like, basically that he gets a crit right there. Seems like... Um, okay, we hit him once. And looks like we hit him again for three. And, oh, we crit. I think we win. I think. Let's see how this goes. Yes. No, he's still there. No, it says we win. We got it. Sweet. We're almost up another level. Let's open this for a chest, uh, for some gold. Let's see if we get a good reward. We got a normal dagger, so better than the poor dagger that we had. Um, we'll just continue. I'm not going to equip this. It's one dice four. It's good for a sneaky person, but that's not me. All right. Okay, so you could see here, obviously, RPG style, uh, we needed to grind up. We couldn't beat that ogre. It was way too hard. We couldn't beat the knoll because he's a bad matchup for our character because he conceals and our intelligence, which reveals concealment, is so low. So we leveled up on the bogger, then took down the ogre, and now we're actually almost level four and are getting some good equipment. So uh, this is another look at the game a little bit further than what I did before. And nicely, uh, we were able to play it on PC using BlueStack. So I'm curious to know what you all think of the game. Like, what are your first impressions? Have you played this game? Uh, is this similar to other mobile games that you play? And I wonder what this will be like uh, when it unveils on the PC as well. Remember, this is still pretty early days for this. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Talk to me in the comments below, everyone. And I hope you have a great day. Take care.